you're going to get even more flavor for less money when you make these copycat Starbucks egg white bites at home. Fluffy egg whites are loaded with pepper, spinach, and cheese for the perfect grab-and-go breakfast on those busy weekday mornings. Oh yeah, and I'm Lennon in Brazil, and you are watching Evolving Table. We make healthier spins on classic recipes, so let's jump straight in and get to cooking. If you've ever made egg muffins, then the process is going to be pretty similar. The main difference, of course, is that we're going to be using all egg whites and none of the yolks. While you can buy a dozen eggs, crack and remove the whites on all of them, you'll end up with a lot of yolks left over. And unless you've got a dog like Tiva that loves to eat scrambled yolks, there's really not much you can do with a dozen of them. But what you can buy are the liquid egg whites. Egg beaters are a very common brand that can be found in most grocery stores. But if you want to go the organic route, you'll want to look at your local Sprouts, Central Market, or Whole Foods. In order to get 12 eggs worth of whites, you'll want to measure out 3 tablespoons for every egg white, which comes out to 2 and 1 fourth cups in total, or about 18 ounces. Pour this into a large bowl with a spout, or a very large measuring cup. You'll see why this comes in handy in just a little bit. To season, we'll toss in 1 fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 half teaspoon of salt, 1 fourth teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of a hot sauce such as Tabasco. Yep, the Starbucks egg white bites have just a touch of heat in them. If you don't want the spice, feel free to leave it out. Or if you want to crank it up, you can double the amount. Whisk the egg whites and seasonings together until everything is well incorporated. Moving on to all of those yummy additions. Today we're making the spinach and bell pepper bites. But if you'd prefer, you can always swap these ingredients out and make the bacon and Greer bites instead. You'll first want to finely dice half a cup of either fresh or roasted red peppers. If you want more nutrition, opt for the fresh. But the roasted red peppers will have a bit more flavor and taste more like the Starbucks ones. Next, finely chop half a cup of spinach and two tablespoons of green onions. Add the peppers, spinach, and green onions to the bowl, along with half a cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese and half a cup of cottage cheese. You'll want to make sure that this is at least 2% so as not to make the egg white bites too watery. 4% is even better and is what I'm using today. Stir the ingredients together until just combined. Before we move on to baking these, a huge problem that most people face when they're making egg muffins or bites is that the eggs end up sticking to the pan. The main culprit here is usually that the pan is too old, has a ton of scratches, and is no longer nonstick. So in order to avoid an egg catastrophe, you'll want to make sure that you're using a new-ish 12-cup muffin pan that is free of scratches. Also, be sure to spray it liberally with nonstick cooking spray. After they are all thoroughly coated, fill each one to three-fourths full. See, this is where that spout really comes in handy. Give the mixture a stir between every few so all of the yummy ingredients don't end up sinking to the bottom. Then, use a spoon to mix up each one so all of the add-ins are equally dispersed. Add the egg white bites to a preheated 350 degree oven and bake for 20 to 22 minutes. And don't let them fool you here. They're going to start to rise a lot at the 15 minute mark, but they won't be fully cooked in the middle. Give it at least 18 minutes before you check to see if they're done. Wait until the egg white bites have cooled to room temperature and then store them in a container to enjoy all week. Or you can serve them immediately with a sprinkle of fresh parsley or additional green onions. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So good. So quick and easy to make. And so much better on our wallet, too. If you want a few more morning meal ideas, be sure to check out these other healthy breakfast recipes. Mmm. Got a little egg left on the lip there. 
Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.